In the news today, the opposition A Partnership for National Unity plus Alliance for Change, APNU plus AFC, says it will be returning to the grassroots to take their issues to the National Assembly for the government to address them. But the first day back in Parliament the APNU, AFC party stage a walkout, so how are they going to address the needs of the Guyanese people if they are walking off the job? GCOM officials granted bail on election-related offences. Information Technology Officer at the Guyana Elections Commission, Enrique Lavon and Registration Officer, Sheffern February were today released on a total of Guyana $450,000 bail in connection with alleged electoral offences. Clerk of the National Assembly, Sherlock Isaacs has written to all incoming members of Parliament, MPs, reminding them of Article 155-1 of the Constitution and asked for proof that those who once held foreign citizenship, have relinquished such. A West Bank pensioner found dead. His body was fished out of the canal and examined for any marks of violence, where it was observed that a small portion of skin was peeled off from his left side forehead. Police are investigating the circumstances surrounding the death of 66-year-old Hardad Doniram whose body was fished out of a canal on Monday. The pensioner lived alone at Bella Dam, West Bank Demerara. He was last seen alive at around 8.30 hours on Sunday by his daughter at her home, located in the same community. Region 4 Returning Officer Mr. Claremont Mingo back in Belladrum, West Coast Berbice. He was greeted with a hero's welcome. <laughs> Police were on an anti-crime patrol in the Montrose, East Coast Demerara when they observed a blue CRV motor vehicle parked at the Montrose seawall. As they approached the vehicle, an unidentifiable male ran into the mangroves and escaped. The vehicle was checked in two bags containing several parcels of compressed leaves, seeds and stems suspected to be cannabis were found in the rear seat of the vehicle. The vehicle and suspected narcotic were taken to the Sparendam police station where it was processed for fingerprints but none was uplifted. The suspected narcotic was weighed and it amounted to 112.75 pounds. No arrest have been made. Government working on $25,000 per household for COVID-19 relief. According to President Irfan Ali, an announcement on the relief will be made before the end of this week. Foreign custody for forged currency says the police. Acting on information received, a party of policemen conducted a search at a home located at Grant 1803 Crabwood Creek, Caribberton and found $320,000 suspected to be forged Guyana currency notes to with $64,000 notes. Further, following additional information received, the ranks carried out a search at a home located at Grant 1806, C Dam, Crabwood Creek, Caribberton, where the following items were found. One white HP desk jet printer, and Two laptop computers. It is suspected that the computers and printer were used to produce the forged notes. The suspects along with the forged currency notes and devices were taken to Springlands Police Station where they remain in custody assisting with the investigation. Manzor Nadir elected speaker. The 12th parliament convenes Tuesday at the Arthur Chung Conference Center where it is expected that the government side will nominate and elect him for the post. Nadir has a political career already spanning 40 years, he is a former member of parliament, first being elected in 1992 after the October 5 general elections as former leader of the United Force Political Party. Lennox Schumann elected deputy speaker of the National Assembly. The other nominee was Raphael Trotman. There was an accident on Carafesta Avenue, details emerging. Coalition frowns at Schumann's election to deputy speaker, walks out in protest. AFC slammed Schumann for accepting the post as deputy speaker, saying that AFC doesn't believe he will look out for the interest of the opposition while he also works as an advisor for the government. How do you have someone who will look out for interest of opposition who is now advisor for the government, you have now put a person who could not get 3,000 votes, he didn't even have the ability to get his own seat, so AFC could say who does Mr. Schumann speaks for. Detectives on the east coast of Demerara are presently at Hope Lowlands on the east coast of Demerara where the body of a 90-year-old man has been found. He has been identified as Judith Suknanan. News outlets understands that the elderly man was beaten to death. The actions of this officer represents the true definition of the Guyana Police Force motto of service and protection. The personal assistant to the chief elections officer is the latest GCOM staffer to be arrested in the ongoing probe into allegations of fraud at the March elections.